Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am bringing you guys a couple different samplers from the pharmacist's daughter. They had the release today. It went pretty well, so there's not a ton left. But when I just looked, um, there was some apple samplers, the blue sugar sampler still, the um, outdoor sampler or adventure sampler. I'm sorry, I can't remember. I don't have the titles of them with me. I just have all the scents. Is it outdoor or adventure sampler? One of those. You'd get the, the gist, though, if you were on their website. They also had, like, a pumpkin sampler. The coffee sampler sold out. I went to go buy, actually, buy an extra one, and I didn't see it left on there. Um, and then there was, oh, and there's a mint sampler. And if you guys have had the pharmacist starter mint before, you know how amazing that is. So there's a masculine, like, manly sampler, a mint sampler, a... Oh my gosh, there's so many. A blue sugar sampler, pumpkin, apple, and coffee, and mint. <laughs> there was a lot. They posted about all the samplers on their Facebook page. So if you want to stay updated with them, I would suggest being part of their Facebook group because they post a lot of stuff in there. Um, they're also pretty active on Instagram, though, so you can get a lot of information there. Um, so this is going to be long. <laughs> so um, let's see. This I'll do the mint sampler first. How about that? Let me see if I can grab all of these out. They are kind of color coded at least, so I can kind of um, figure it out that way. So the samplers were $18, and it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. The mint one has six cents. One, two, three. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. They're all five or six cents, it looks like. Yeah, six cents. So I know that when I went to go get the coffee sampler to go purchase it or whatever, it was $18 also. So. Um, and then each of them are three, each scent is three of these little snap bars. Um, so let me just, um, start smelling these for you guys because there's so many. <laughs> okay. So this is the mint sampler. This, this one's called after dinner treat and it's twisted peppermint cupcakes at Tiffany's and sugar cookie Royale. Ooh, yes. Twisted if you guys have had Twisted Peppermint before, you know that it also has vanilla and like a little bit of a tree scent in it. But I'm getting Twisted Peppermint. And the the Sugar Cookie Royale and Cupcakes at Tiffany's kind of blend together because I might just get a touch of chocolate from that Cupcakes at Tiffany's, but not a whole lot. It's definitely like a sweet cookie mint scent. So after dinner treat, really good. This is the one I smelled first um, and it's really good. This is called Mint Mallows, and it's Peppermint Patty Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. I don't know if I've ever had Peppermint Patty oil. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. This is like a mint chocolate marshmallow almost. Because I do smell like... Oh my gosh, this smells like Christmas to me. Like this smells like Christmas treats to me. Oh, it smells so good. Like if you want like a, a good chocolate, though, like it smells like a peppermint patty. Uh, York peppermint patty almost, but sweeter than that. Um, this next one's called Men. This is in uh, French, I think. Menthe Fraise, Fraz, Fra, F R I S. And this is buttermints, lavender, and marshmallow. Total, oh, totally up my alley. Such a good nighttime scent. There are lavenders that really cozy, almost a touch woodsy lavender to my nose. Ugh, get, I get the lavender, buttermints, and marshmallow. This should be like a website staple because it's just like a perfect uh, bedtime blend. This next one is Peppermint Dream. I think I've, they have they made this one before? I think so. Peppermint, pink sugar, and cotton candy. Mm, yeah. See, first I get the cotton candy. Yeah. I actually get the cotton candy the most. Like, it's really strong. A, just a touch of pink sugar and a touch of peppermint. Lots of cotton candy there, but I get all of it. Very girly mint scent. Um, This one is called... Is this one? Okay, I'm not sure this is out of the outdoor sampler or the mint, because there's mint in it, but it's also outdoorsy. But it's kind of color-coded with these. So, this one's called Winter Rain, and it's Icy Peppermint Sweater Weather and Rain. Ooh, wow. Sweater weather first, of course, because that's such a strong oil. 
and I smell mint. I don't smell like a separate rain scent in here, but sweater weather is kind of an outdoorsy scent. So yeah, it smells like actual, like sweater weather from Bath and Body Works with mint. That's, of course I like that a lot. And this last one here is called Arcadia, uh, Rosemary Mint, Beechwood Vetiver, and Swedish Dream Salt. Ooh. Oh, now that is good. The Beechwood Vetiver gives it like more of a grounding base, like a woodsy, creamy base. And then you get the Swedish Dream Salt. It's like, it just smells like a magical, undiscovered land. Mm, very nice. Very like awakening. I like that a lot. So that's the mint sampler that I have. The next one up here is, so this is like the outdoor sampler, outdoorsy sampler. And this also has six cents. Um, and they're all either blue or green. I'm colorblind. That last set was mostly pink, I think. Um, so this one's called Woodland Foliage, and this is Woodland Foliage, White Clouds, and Iced Vanilla Woods. Oh, wow, yeah. I definitely get Iced Vanilla, Iced Vanilla Woods. That's a very strong scent oil if you've ever had it. I don't know what Woodland Foliage is, but I definitely smell like outdoorsy tree that isn't like deciduous tree also, not just coniferous tree. And then White Clouds is a laundry oil. And I'm smelling a touch of that too. Sorry if you ha hear screaming kids. Um, they just got back from school. I had them go outside and ride bikes and ride their scooters to like get some energy out, but they're psycho. So if you hear screaming, that's that. Um, this next one is White Woods. And this is White Birch and Shiplap. Driftwood, White Birch, and Vanilla. Woo! Definitely white birch. That is like green tree and dry wood. Very, very woodsy and green tree. <laughs> Not my favorite, but it is like a piercing scent. Uh, this next one is cold rain. And this has an oil in it that I would like to explore more. Like I would like to figure out who has this oil just by itself. And I'd like to have buy some of it. This is Cracklin' Birch, which I've had before and I love, and November Rain. There was another vendor that had a sampler and one of the scents in it had that oil in it and it was so good. It's a, I think someone said it's like a Yankee candle type because yeah, I love Crackling Birch and I can smell that in here, but the other part to this is so good. It's like this really calm, but full, almost masculine aquatic scent. Oh man, yeah, I would love just to have like a loaf of November rain because this smells really good. Um, I really like that with the, the crack. It's mostly November rain, which is a touch of that crackling birch. So I love this scent also very much. Um, so good. Um, the next one is Appalachian Trail. Is that, is that Appalachian? I never was able to say this right. Appalachian, Appalachian Trail. Sorry. I am from the Western part of the United States. <laughs> Um, this is Ancient Waters, Alpine Frost, and Lake Adventure. Ooh. Okay. Definitely getting Alpine Frost. I've smelled that before. I've had a Lake Adventure before also, but my nose doesn't pick up all that Lake Adventure has to offer, if that makes sense. <sighs> yeah. This is very, like, Appalachian or, like, a mountain trail this smells very much like, it's like a woodsy, musky tree. This is very comforting. Very, very good. Um, it's like a soft, musky, woodsy outdoor tree scent. I like that a lot. But I think when I say soft, I don't mean soft as in throw. I mean soft as in like the muskiness makes it feel like the texture of the smell is soft. <laughs> I hear children coming in. Yes. What did you draw? Oh, okay. I will come read that in a moment, okay? Thank you very much. This is Andre. Go first. Go first. And this is Brianna. These are the twins. They are seven. Okay, Miss Cray. Her hair is a little crazy because she just had a helmet on. And Andre is getting a haircut tomorrow. 
And they got candy. Okay. Okay, stop it. Goodbye. You guys, go pre-read your... Okay, go pre-read your paragraphs. I can time you. Okay, you guys, I... One. Shut the door. No more treats. Okay. This next one is called Great Outdoors. This is cranberry woods, blackberry and magnolia, and fresh linen. Ooh, whoa. That is cool. Who would think to put those scents together? That really smells like you're doing laundry outdoor. Wow. I might put that in my bathroom tonight. That is like really unique and different. It says cranberry woods, but you don't necessarily get like, you get like the woods from the cranberry and the berry adds like a little bit of tart sweetness. That is very interesting and really good. Rosie, Rosalyn, can you please come shut my door? They're so loud. I'm not going to pretend they didn't get that for me. Shut the door. Thank you. Okay, and the last one that we have here is called Nature Walk. And the notes in it say Nature Walk, Flannel, and Oak. Oh, man, that's good. It's on the masculine side. Mmm. There's like this, there's almost like an apple-y-ness to it, but not, not like mac apple or green apple or there's definitely like an oak and like a sexy man flannel kind of situation. Woo, that's good. Oh man, it is, Nature Walk is like masculine, fresh air, like in an apple orchard kind of. Oh man, that's good. Okay. That's the outdoor sample, which, or sampler, which was fabulous. Um, let's do this one next. This one is, oh, this is the like masculine man sampler. Okay, I think this is blue. Okay, the first one here is called Stud. And this is London Fog, Perfect Man, and Fierce. Yes. Oh, wow. Definitely London Fog. I am getting like 90% London Fog, which is nice. Um, it's very, it's more of a, I don't want to say this negatively. It's a little bit more screechy, but in this like musky, fresh floral, masculine floral almost way. Definitely London Fog for sure. Um, the next one is Lumberjack. And this is Shave and a Haircut, one of my favorite oils. Lumberjack and graphite. And that is um, a Bath and Body Works like cologne type. Ooh. Okay, what is the Lumberjack oil? I do get shave and a haircut. I swear these kids are going to kill me at an early age. <sighs> What's in Lumberjack? Something almost aquatic. Oh, this is good. This is a little bit, I get graphite. If you've had graphite before, it's a very clean, um, almost metallic kind of cologne scent that I really like. I actually bought that one for my husband um, from Bath & Body Works last Christmas. My favorite one this year, I actually went to Bath & Body Works today. They have one called Canyon that is amazing. Okay, so this is like... This smells like you just went to like a brand new hotel and a very well-dressed man is like getting ready for a meeting in a brand new, like freshly pressed hotel room. I, I am a little perplexed on how to explain Lumberjack because I know how shaving a haircut smells. I know how graphite smells. There's something almost like sweet, a little bit sweet about Lumberjack. Oh man. There is like a fluffiness, like a sweet fluffiness almost to it. Like this is very complex. Masculine, woodsy, almost aquatic, fluffy, and somewhat sweet. I don't know, but it's amazing if you're a masculine lover. Okay, this next one is, ooh, I love the color of this. What color is that? Um, this is Prince Charming. And this is Deadly Weapon, Route 66, and Peppermint. All right. Ooh, I get peppermint. 
Mm. Oh man. These, this masculine <laughs> sampler is amazing for someone like me. Uh, that Route 66 oil, she has made something with it before. And it's almost to my nose is a little bit like tumbleweeds and terracotta oil. Like you smell like dust and woods and dry air. Oh, this is really nice. What is deadly weapon? Whatever it is, it's fabulous. There's like this hot, dry, woodsy air, peppermint, and a man's cologne. And I know that sounds so weird, but wow. Oh, okay. I love that one too. <laughs> wow. Okay, this next one is Casanova. And Casanova is Black Sea, Patchouli Rain, Eucalyptus, and Thyme. This one is going to be strong. Wow. <laughs> Black Sea is one of the strongest oils to me. But what's interesting is I actually get eucal eucalyptus and thyme first, then Black Sea, then Patchouli Rain. This is very strong. This is almost like, like masculine spa. Yeah, like masculine spa is what Casanova smells like to me. That is really unique, but very nice. Uh, this next one is called Fierce. I like the color of that too. And this is Black Teakwood, Lord of Misrule, and Steel Sugar. I get Steel Sugar. I like Steel Sugar. It's not my favorite of the sugars. I like Black Sugar a little bit more, but I like Steel Sugar too. I get a little tiny bit of Lord of Misrule. And I don't think I can single out Black Teakwood. I mostly smell, smell, smell Steel Sugar with a touch of Lord of Misrule. So that one's okay, good. And this last one is blue, as in um, like Chanel blue, the cologne, men's cologne. I love Chanel blue. Um, but this is, the notes in this are Chanel blue, the men's cologne with flannel sheets. I mostly, flannel sheets is a very strong laundry oil. I mostly get flannel sheets. If blue is in there, it's like 5% of it. But I love flannel sheets, so. Um, uh, Chanel Blue is actually one of my very favorite men's clones, so. So this smells good, but I am just almost getting like 95% flannel sheets. So, but it smells good. I like flannel sheets. Okay, that's we have two more samplers, guys. Let's do... This one next. I don't know what colors these are, you guys. I'm so sorry. It's They're either blue, green, gray, or... I don't know. Is this one purple? I'm sorry. Um, this is the blue sugar sampler. This, fir this first one is called Bowl Sluice. Uh, this is blue sugar, marshmallow fireside, and flannel sheets. Oh, how interesting. That's the name right there. Bowl Sluice. Oh, very interesting. I get the marshmallow fireside, the strongest. Then the flannel sheets, then blue sugar. That is very mysterious smelling. Mm, very, yeah, very mysterious. Like, this is almost cool if you're watching like a horror movie or something. That is really cool. Uh, the next one is called Foothills. And this is blue sugar, black sea, and blackberry and magnolia. Ooh, that blackberry magnolia oil always kind of makes my mouth water. I definitely get that the most in here, then black sea, and then blue sugar. So this is almost like a masculine and feminine body care scent together. And that one's called Foothills. Uh, Isaquina is the name of this one. This is blue sugar, pomegranate, and shave in a haircut. Is that, sorry, the glare on this makes it. Issa Quina, I S S A Q U E E N A. I have no idea. Once again, blue sugar, pomegranate, shave, and a haircut. Ooh, interesting. I get them all equally. Pomegranate, blue sugar, and shave all equally. This is like very. Um, how do I say this? 
it's very just unis, like, I don't even want to say unisex. It's very just, oh, it's very interesting. Yeah, I get that pomegranate makes the blue sugar smell juicy. But then the shape and a haircut makes the blue sugar smell cleaner and fresher. That's very, very interesting. Not my favorite one, but it smells good. This next one is Piedmont, I think. P-I-E-D-M-O-N-T, Piedmont. Um, blue sugar, pink sugar, and pomegranate bitters. Ooh, definitely pomegranate bitters, which I like. And pink sugar and blue sugar, but it's mostly pomegranate bitters. Very, if you've never had the pomegranate bitters oil, they put it in a couple of their scents. I really like it. It's literally, if you eat a pomegranate, pomegranate bitters literally smells like the tart and dark part of the pomegranate, which I love. This is a great like nighttime scent. Very nice. Okay. This next one is Blue Ridge and this is blue sugar, patchouli rain and driftwood. Oh yeah. Ooh, yes. That is so good. Ooh, I definitely get patchouli rain and driftwood with just the tiniest touch of blue sugar. This smells like the freshest, like if you're on mountain ridges by like a very cold ocean, like coast. So fresh and woodsy. Ooh, that would be a very sexy cologne or like met like masculine body care. Although it doesn't smell like body care. Ooh, that's good. Blue Ridge, that is nice. And last one here in the blue sugar sampler is Raven Cliff. And this is blue sugar, wood sage and sea salt, and zucchini bread. Ooh. First thing that hits my nose is zucchini bread. Gosh, how... If you guys have followed my channel, you know I really like blue sugar and zucchini bread together. But I do get that wood sage and sea salt. Oh my goodness. That like, this just, this blend together like comes into one magical scent. I wonder what Raven Cliff stands for. I don't know, but this is, oh my gosh. Well, I'm gonna have to beg for them to make more of this. Wow. Blue sugar, wood sage and sea salt, zucchini bread. Exactly. Get them all. Amazing. I will probably melt this in my room tonight. Ravenclaw. Okay. And then I saved, I don't want to say the best for last because all of these are amazing, but I saved her coffee sampler for last only because you guys are following me. Um, probably know I love their coffee blends so much, especially they use the coffee house oil in most of their coffee blends. And I love the coffee house oil. Um, when it comes down to it, I really love coffee house and I really love espresso. Those are my favorite coffee oils. So, um, the first one is a little light only because I'm already melting it. The reason why I'm melting this out in my family room and kitchen is the notes are very interesting together. And on cold, I was like, what in the world on warm? It totally works. So this one is called boy bait and this is coffee house, blueberry muffin and iced lemon cookies. I know like for some reason, like lemon and coffee together just sounded weird. And on cold, I definitely get the coffee, the blueberry muffin and the lemon cookies for sure. And it smells really good. But on warm, the lemon cookies just make it smell like you're eating like a blueberry lemon muffin. And this is so good. This is like, oh, it makes me so hungry because I love breakfast. <laughs> this smells like you are having the fanciest like breakfast Somewhere that you get to sit down and order breakfast. I don't know. It's like literally lemon cookies, like lemon, sweet lemon, blueberry muffin and coffee. It's so good on warm. I was pretty blown away by how freaking amazing that was. So that is boy bait. Um, this next one is chocolate chip frappe. And this is coffee house, chocolate chip cookies and sweet and creamy. Now I was surprised when I smelled this because I do not like chocolate in wax, but for some reason, the chocolate chip with the coffee smells really good. And this literally smells like a chocolate chip cookie, like almost like chocolate chip cookie dough. Wow. Coffee house and sweet and creamy. I mean, 
I'm gonna have to be in the mood for something like this because this is like a rich with that chocolate with the coffee. It's rich, but it is unique to me because I don't really like coffee in wax. But that, I will melt this because that smells great. The next one is breakfast blend. Have they made this one before? I have a feeling they did, but I swear, I don't know. It didn't smell as good to me or something. This is coffee house, jelly donut, toasted marshmallow, and zucchini bread, you guys. You guys. Okay, so when I open it, that jelly donut hits me first. Then the coffee house. And then the zucchini bread, and I absolutely get toasted marshmallow. This needs to be a house staple also. Holy cow. This is like the most indulgent, like creamy coffee that you've gotten that like you've made the coffee with half and half or I, I don't know if I told you guys when I was younger and I lived in Los Angeles um I worked at Starbucks so I kind of know how the drinks are made and stuff um this literally smells like you've made a coffee with half and half and you foamed it really fluffy at the top and you are eating a jelly donut wow thick creamy jelly donut coffee house so Jesse has like she had like two cream oatmeal. Okay, tell her no more. Okay. Thank you very much. Please shut the door on the way up. No. Uh, uh. Okay, go. Thank you. Okay, this next one is pumpkin pick me up. And I think a lot of you at this time of year are going to love this one. I also really love this one. This is coffee house, pumpkin pecan waffles, and cinnamon sugar donuts. And this is like fall coffee perfection. I want more of this too. Oh, I get cough. I get it all. Cinnamon sugar donuts, but I want some more of this. Oh my gosh. This is so good. This coffee sampler is like so freaking bomb. Okay. This next one is coconut coffee and this is coffee house, coconut cream pie, coconut shortbread cookies, and sugar cookie Royale. If you love her beans and cream, you'll probably love this one. Ugh, this is very coconutty. I definitely get a very, very strong coconut cream. I get the coffee house, the shortbread cookies, and I'm sure the sugar cookie royale is in there somewhere. Ugh, but it's a very coconut coffee. Okay, and last one. This one's interesting. This one is Moroccan spice coffee, and this is coffee house, sugar and spice, and fresh baked bread. Kind of dark. I don't know color. I definitely get a very yeasty bread in this to my nose. But I will say things that are yeasty come off really yeasty to me. I think on warm. Because I'm getting some really good spice also. This is this is what I'm going to have to warm. I get the coffee house. I get the baked bread. Oh, these children. And I get spice. This is one I'm very interested in melting to see how it's going to be. But the bread does smell yeasty to me on cold. So we shall see. So sorry, I kind of rushed through those things. I just want to make sure because there were six. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I got four samplers and there were six each. So I just wanted to make sure I could get through every scent. So I liked them all, of course, but I think the coffee and the masculine are my favorite. I think um, the other ones, I mean, obviously mint. If you follow me also, <laughs> you'll know that I'm obsessed with that. But there was a, what was the blue sugar one that I just died? Well, I love Blue Ridge and I love Ravencliff of these, the Blue Sugar Blend. Oh, these two are so amazing. Anyways, um, there are some left on her site, but also I just wanted to talk about the scents because if there's something that, if, if these are scents that she offers in the future, um, then you can kind of know how they smell if you want to order, if that makes sense. Cause this is a lot of their scents here together. Um, yeah. So anyways, sorry about the craziness with my kids, you guys. I can't help it. Have a good one, you guys. Thanks. See you later. Bye.